All right, friends, I have a new song for you today, and it rhymes as well. It goes like this. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. So a couple of things. Cobbler, what does that word mean? I've heard like about a peach cobbler, which I know is a type of food. And it's got like fruit filling and like some sort of pastry or biscuit or like pie crust to it. But do you think that's what they mean in this song? No, a cobbler is someone who would fix your shoes. So today, if our shoe breaks, most of the time, we just go and get a new pair. But a long time ago, cobblers were really popular, and they were somebody who would mend your shoe. If, let's say, the toe ripped or your heel fell off, they would fix it. So up here on the top, we have a picture of a cobbler. All right, let's go back to our song. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Do you hear any rhyming words? Remember, rhyming words mean that the end of the word is going to have the same sound. So take a look at that on your own. Do you see any rhyming words? Ah, in the first line, shoe and two. Go shoe, oo, oo. Do that with me. Shoe, oo, oo. So we're ending with that oo sound. Now let's look at the word two. Two, oo, oo. Two, oo, oo. Two also ends in that oo sound. So shoe and two are rhyming words. Yay, good job. All right, let's look at the second line. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Do you see any rhyming words there? <gasps> late and eight. Let's do that with our late. Late, eight, eight. Good job. And then we have eight, eight, eight. They both end in the eight um, sound. So our rhyming words for the song are shoe, two, late, eight. Awesome. Now, above each of these words, and some have more than words like get it, done by, half past, some shoes underneath them have two words. And under some shoes, there's only one word, like late or two. What do you think the shoes are representing in our music? The shoes are all the same size. They're constant. They don't change. Our shoes are representing our steady beats. Can you pat your steady beats? I'm going to pat mine on my table as I sing our song. Sing with me. Ready? Here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Awesome. Remember that steady beat is constant. It doesn't change. It's the pulse of our music. All right. So now we're going to take a look at our rhythms. Remember that our rhythms are the long and short sounds of our music. Actually, I want to go back one slide really quick. So our shoes are our steady beats, right? So each shoe is a beat. In this first beat where it's cobbler, how many sounds does cobbler have? Cobbler. It has two sounds, cobbler. So in that first beat, there are two sounds. In the second beat, cobbler, there's two sounds, 
The next beat, men, my, there's two sounds. The next beat has shoo. There's only one sound in that beat. So you have cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Do you hear how you were saying two syllables on one beat? And I want you to think about that as we go to our rhythm. Okay? So, here they're telling us, do you see this two right here? That tells us that there's going to be two beats and then a line. That line's going to tell us that we're going to have a new measure. So, two beats and a new measure. Two beats and a new measure. Two beats and a new measure. And so on. So, let's clap our rhythm. So, remember when we're clapping our rhythm, we're clapping every sound or syllable that we hear. Ready? Here we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Awesome job. Now, let's put some TTs and TAs with it. So, we have our one beat here. Cobbler, is that going to be a TT or a TA? going to be TT. Good job. Let's drag that over there. We're going to put it actually right under. Cobbler. Is that the same or is it different? It's the same. Nice job. Let's go on the next one. Mend my TT. Shoe. How many does shoe have? One sound in that one beat, so we're going to use our ta. All right, let's go on the next measure. Get it. T, T. Done by. Oop. Half past. And then two. Right, let's clap our rhythm using our TTs and TAs on this first line. Ready? Here we go. T, 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 Ta. T, 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 Ta. Does that sound like cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe? Get it done by half past two. It does. It matches. Awesome. So what you're going to do is you're going to finish the song. So you're going to put TTs and TAs with half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.